All right, guys, this is just a little uh, bonus tip for you guys, something I learned a long time ago on making your own stencils. So the things that you'll need are a piece of chipboard, um, which I get through my photo labs, um, and they use them to put in um, photo envelopes to keep things rigid. Another thing that I've also used, um, which is a lot more accessible, is uh, manila folders that you get at any um, office supply store. They work just as well. And uh, yeah, the next thing you'll need is your design, some sort of uh, design. This is just a font um, I had on the computer. Um, and it's just, I'm, I just wanted to make an A um, for a sign that I'm going to make. Take your paper, put it on your chipboard or your manila folder, take some just regular old masking tape. Okay, now you need a ballpoint pen. All you do is go through and trace your design ballpoint pen and use moderate pressure what you're trying to do is make an impression on the chipboard below all right now one thing to note um, in these interiors is uh, it's really easy to kind of lose track of what you're doing um, and just cut all of these out and then it just they all fall out when you cut the whole stencil out. So what I like to do is start by drawing some lines across that holds everything kind of in place and then just connect those lines So, now, what you should have left is an impression, and your pen will actually ride in that impression. A side light can really help a lot if you're <clears throat> trying to find your lines. Take your X-Acto knife, and that's it. That's how you make a stencil. Now I'm being pretty careless here and I have my brush loaded up way too much with paint and just kind of going at it haphazardly. But if you wanted cleaner edges, just dab off the paint so you don't have so much paint loaded up in your brush and then just kind of go at it carefully around the edges. All right guys, I hope you enjoyed this little bonus tip um, as a follow up to the Q&A video and that Q&A sign. As always, thanks for watching and I'll catch you next time. <laughs>